Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into part four of the Certic Skynet quest. We do have uh, quite a few to get to, a bunch of level sevens. I'm going to do, do some of these project focused ones as well uh, in this campaign. So I know that some people said that there were a couple that I missed. Um, not exactly sure. So those are level 10. But either way, I'll try and get to the ones that I missed in the last video. But before we actually get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Now, I don't know if Certic will have a token or anything in the future, but this is some cool little quest to get more familiar with uh, security and stuff in the blockchain space so if you are interested in this or any of our other videos please jump in the discord um, if you have any questions comments recommendations uh, jump in there connect with me and other people in the community and we will help you grow along this space with us so crypto journey let's get into it skynet rating let me turn this tunes up a little bit we're going to do the Certic Ventures, start the quest, and we got to do a security verification. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And thank you to everyone who's reached out to me recently. I appreciate you all so much. So it's the original vision for Certic Ventures, what they're all about, leveraging Certic's expertise, current portfolio. Certic's experience and achievements, Certic Ventures vision, and which is not part of Certic Ventures current portfolio. Dora hacks, I don't know any of these. Or Meta. Wow, really? Shiva in you? Is not part of it? But the other ones are? Interesting. Okay, what is Certic's, Certic Ventures' vision? Foster the growth of security-first projects. <clears throat> Great job. Very nice. We'll go back to home. Now stay vigilant on browser plugins. So I've unlocked level 5. Yes, yes. So the browser plugins, there's a recent incident. Uh, the million dollar plus loss the cause was identified as a cookie hijacking attack facilitated by a Chrome browser plugin. So the plugin access browser cookies which hacked the account. Man, that sucks. So they drain the assets. New method of personal device attacks. Um, safety tips for browser plugins. Yeah, fraudulent plugins. Got to make sure you have the verified plugins and not a fake one. Log out after using apps containing assets. In my case, I connected to a malicious uh, site or I, I gave approval to a malicious contract that took my, my assets. So which of the following is not considered a good security practice when using plugins? Um, Using plugins promoted by social uh, promoters. How do scammers carry out plugin attacks? Mimicking legitimate projects with similar functionality. Oh, sending a list of solicited messages on. No. We'll refill.
Okay, all of them. Oh, the first three. Okay. On to the next one. So we'll start here, recognizing the misuse of Certix brand. I don't know why we have to do this every time, but this is interesting. <laughs> okay, so we'll start the quest. Misuse of Certix brand for fraud. Fake audits. Fake exit scams. So there's people out there that try and mimic the real projects and try and make them legitimate. So what should you do if you're approached by someone claiming to represent Certic, but you doubt their legitimacy? So block them immediately, send them your crypto wallet seed phrase, verify their credentials, follow them on social media, so verify their credentials. Fake recovery services often target individuals who have already suffered financial losses, promising to recover funds, but demanding upfront fees. Yes. And I've been getting hit up a lot on Twitter for recovery assets. It's it's all these people just pumping spam and scams. I don't trust it. I don't trust these fools. Don't forget to claim your daily tasks. <clears throat> and Let's look at some of these project focus ones. Let's do some of these for a few minutes. <clears throat> we'll do the Pepe. Start with the Pepe. This talks about the project, what the Pepe team is, the audits. So what significant security measures did Pepe implement to enhance trust and transparency? Undergoing a Certic audit. How is the ownership of Pepe tokens distributed, distributed amongst holders? Um, top 10 holders own less than 5% of the supply. And we'll continue to Aptos. So Aptos is a, partly the team from Facebook. Um, yeah, they built their own blockchain. Aptos is a layer one blockchain primarily, primarily designed to offer developer friendly environment focused on scalability and transparency. Move is the programming language of the core of Aptos. Yes. XSwap, finance. There we go. All right, this kind of goes into what XSwap is. different badges, all that good stuff. So what model does ZK Swap Finance use to reward users? Swap to earn. How many files did Certic audit of ZK Swap Finance in December? Six. ZK Swap Finance's team is fully anonymous and unverified. False. Great job, great job. Okay, let's do two more. I'm gonna do these next two and uh, I gotta run for lunch. So, what's well, Ondo Finance, real world asset platform. And they have a token that's been going pretty wild recently. So Ondo Finance moved 95 million to BlackRock's 
Uh, Biddle in 2024 is part of their long-term strategy. Yes. What specific actions does Ondo Finance take to ensure regulatory compliance? Um, conducts compliance checks and engages with regulatory bodies. And next one is ton. So ton, the telegram open or the open network token for telegram. I know this has been going crazy recently. Um, what does the master chain do in Tun's network? Ensure consistency and security across networks. What peak transaction speed did it achieve in Certix performance testing? Just gonna guess here, over 100,000 transactions per second. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now that all depends on the use and utility of that network, but there you go. Got some knocked out for you. Um, I'll do more of these project focused ones, but I've completed all like the remaining level three ones. Um, so we just have some level sevens and level tens, but I will get to those in the next video. I appreciate your patience and, uh, sticking with this so we'll try and get these out to you as quick as i can but in any case i appreciate you all so much and with that this is a blockchain report have a wonderful day homies peace